you want to be able to play just about any song from the 1950s? Well, I'm going to show you an iconic chord progression that will allow you to do just that. And best of all, it's only three chords. My name is Rob Reed and I'm a public school music teacher. Let's get into it. The 12 Bar Blues is one of the most universal chord progressions and can be found in thousands of songs. From blues to jazz to early rock and roll to modern rock and roll and almost everywhere else, it's instantly recognizable and can be heard everywhere. It's really simple and it's only made up of three chords, the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. So if we're playing in the key of A, A would be the one chord, D would be the four chord, and E would be the five chord of that key. So A is a one chord, it holds A for four bars. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Switch it to the four chord, which would be D for two bars. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Back to A for two bars, the one chord. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Goes the five chord, the E for one bar. E, two, three, four, to the four chord, one bar. D, two, three, four, back to the A for two bars. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. You recognize it? Really familiar sound. I'm gonna go down a limb here and say that almost half or more of the songs released in the 50s were built off this 12-bar blues progression. Let me know what you think down in the chat. First song, Hound Dog by Elvis Presley, released in 1956. Grab your guitar, let's check it out. The song's in the key of C. The one would be the C chord. The four would be the F chord. And the five would be the G chord, okay? So our chords are gonna look like this, C. F is a little difficult, not my favorite. If you want, you can bar and do this shape. But if you want a little easier shape, you can just play the F major seven shape like this. Still works and sounds good. And the G chord would look like this. So let's play it real basic first and then we'll spice it up. I ain't nothing but a hand dog, crying all the time. I ain't nothing but a hound dog Crying all the time You ain't never caught a rabbit And you ain't no friend of mine Okay, and now I'd spice it up and make it a little more interesting I ain't nothing but a hound dog Crying all the time I ain't nothing but a hound dog Crying all the time I ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine Yeah, you thought you was high class Well, that was just a lie Yeah, you thought you was high class That was just a lie You ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine So another good one, Rock Around the Clock by Bill Haley and the Comets, released in 1954 in the key of A, so A would be your one chord, D would be your four chord, and E would be your five chord. Now if you're having trouble changing between these chords, play A like this, first finger on the second fret, third string, and then use, use your first finger as your pivot finger, drop down D, just like that, leave your first finger there as a pivot, pivot back to A, and then go into E, just lift, slide back, and drop to the E chord, lift, pivot, slide forward to the A chord. Okay, so nice and easy, then we'll spice it up. Put your glad rags on and join me, hun. We'll have some fun when the clock strikes one. We're gonna rock around the clock tonight. We're gonna rock, rock, rock till broad daylight. We're gonna rock, gonna rock around the clock tonight. Getting a little more spicier. Put your glad rags on and join me, hun. We'll have some fun when the clock strikes one. We're gonna rock around the clock tonight. We're gonna rock, rock, rock till broad daylight. We're gonna rock, gonna rock around the clock tonight. All right, got another great one for you. Bebop Alula by Gene Vincent, released in 1956. It's in the key of E. So E would be the one chord. A would be the four chord. B would be the five chord and then back to E for the one chord. Now B, you can play it like this. First finger, first fret, and then second finger, second fret, third finger, second fret, third string from the bottom. Okay, so let's check it out. Bebopalula, she's my baby. Bebopalula, I don't mean maybe. Bebopalula, she's my baby. Bebopalula, I don't mean maybe. 
be ba ba lu la she is my baby doll, my baby doll, my baby doll. Whew, kind of low there. All right, next big hit from the 50s, that's a 12-bar blues, Shake, Rattle, and Roll by Big Joe Turner. It was released in 1954. And it's actually in the key of E flat, and that's a bit too complicated for us right now. So we're going to use a capo, put on the first fret, and play in the key of D. So now we're actually still in the key of E flat, but we're playing the D shapes, and that'll simplify things for us. So D would be the one chord, G would be the four chord, and A would be the five chord. Let's check it out. We're going to shake, rattle, and roll. We're going to shake, rattle, and roll. We're going to shake, rattle, and roll. We're gonna shake, rattle and roll oh, You ain't never done nothing to save your doggone soul Alright, a little more spicier We're gonna shake, rattle and roll We're gonna shake, rattle and roll oh, We're gonna shake, rattle and roll We're gonna shake, rattle and roll oh, You ain't never done nothing to save your doggone soul All right, last but definitely not least, another massive hit from the 50s that's built on a 12-bar blues progression. Johnny Be Good by Chuck Berry, released in 1958. The song is actually in the key of B flat. So we're gonna use these shapes, the power chord shape, starting on the sixth fret. Then we're gonna add our pinky up here on the A string, skip a fret, and pulse your finger like that to the rhythm. Now it's gonna be difficult to play because you not, might not be used to moving your hands this way. So you gotta do a big stretch, keep trying, and you'll definitely get it. So we're pulsing like that, so it'll be the B flat, drop down to the E flat, sixth fret A string with your root on this finger, back to the B flat, root on this finger, then jump up to your F on the eighth fret, back to the sixth fret for E flat and then B flat. Okay, let's try it out. Way down in Louisiana, down in New Orleans, way back up in the wood among the evergreens. Stood a log cabin made of earth and wood Lived a country boy named Johnny Be Good Never ever learned to read or write so well That he could play the guitar just like a ring and a bell Go, go, go Johnny, go, go Go Johnny, go, go, go Go Johnny, go, go Go Johnny, go, go, go Johnny Be Good Oh man, lots of fun. I sped it up there for you. So there you have it. Five massive hits from the 50s that are built on the 12-bar blues progression. I've been playing guitar for 33 years and I picked up a few things along the way. Check out this video to find out. See you in the next one.